All right, this month we have a special bike wheel for you guys where we turn a brand new YZ450 and turn it into a freestyle motocross bike. All right, so we're here with Birchie from Airtime FMX. Now, what's Airtime and what's Freestyle Motocross? Uh, Airtime, we're a freestyle motocross team. Freestyle motocross, we perform uh, backflips, all the big crazy tricks on dirt bikes, off a ramp over a distance of 75 feet. Uh, we perform all over the country, uh, royal shows, supercars, corporate events. We just love performing. Awesome. So you're taking this standard YZ450 and turning it into a freestyle motocross bike. What's involved in that? The major things are our suspension. We definitely changed that to be more of a supercross style suspension, a lot harder for the impact. Our seat, we cut down, we modify uh, the subframe for grab tricks. And then we've also got our little little things like flip levers and foot hook just to perform the bigger backflip tricks. Awesome. Let's get into building this bike. So we have the subframe off now. We're gonna take it to our mate, Rapid. He's gonna modify it for freestyle motocross. So we have our suspension out now, our shock and our forks. We'll take them into race line. They're gonna set it all up for freestyle motocross. It's Jay Archer here. We're down here at race line performance in Burley. Today I get to set up the Airtime FMX suspension. The boys have just made the switch to Yamaha, so we're now working with some KYB suspension. So check it out. dampening rod. Now to get this valving off so we can revalve it, what we have to do here is linish this flat. As you can see the thread's peened over from standard which means that it won't come loose. So there's a couple ways you can tackle this. You can grind it flat on a bench grinder but because we're doing freestyle valving here and we're using a lot of shims, I want as much thread space as possible so I don't want to linish it all off. So I like to use a drill, 8 mil drill bit, just on the top here. And it So at this stage we've got all the valving laid out on the bench. I'll give you a quick rundown of what's what. So this is all the high speed compression valving, low speed compression, rebound and the mid valve. So that whole section there is just for the fork. And then this is the shock here. So this here is the rebound and this is all the compression valving. So got the spec sheet. Um, this is the setting that I've come up with for airtime. Now they've already ridden a few of their bikes that I've done a couple weeks ago, so it's basically just a copy and paste.
All right, guys, we're back here for day two here at the Airtime FMX HQ here on the Gold Coast. We've got all the parts back. We've got the suspension back from Raceline and that subframe has been modified. So we can't wait to throw this back in the bike and show you this epic bike build. All right, guys, we're back here at Airtime FMX HQ. We've got a brand new 2023 model YZ 450 that we've fully stripped down. Uh, we've had the suspension done, we've modified the subframe, and now it's time to put it all back together. Thanks to the guys at Pirelli, we're running the MX32. And huge thanks to Ballards. We changed from the stock Yamaha 49 tooth up to a 51, uh, just changes the gearing for FMX. Now we've got the rear tire on and the rear sprocket. We're also upgrading to the RK chain, the 520 MXU. One of the major parts of FMX is grab tricks. And in order to make that happen, we've had to take our YZ450 subframe and we've sent it off to Rapid. He's fully modified it in order to make a grab handle out of it. And now we're gonna put it back on. While we've got the back end apart, we also change over the stock exhaust. So we're switching over to the Pro Circuit T6 slip-on. They look cool, they sound cool. So huge thanks to Pro Circuit for the support. Another main component on an FMX bike is a steering stabiliser. So I've got the GPR triple clamp and the V5 dampener. So it's gonna keep our handlebars straight while we're upside down doing the big backflip tricks. When it comes to air intake, we change the stock air filter over to the O2 Rush filter. We've been lucky enough to have support of Unifilter for a very long time now. Not only do they look awesome, but they also increase airflow. So we've got our suspension back from the guys at Raceline. Uh, J.O. stiffened up our suspension. Kind of like a Supercross setting. It's really stiff for FMX to take the impact. While we had all of our plastics off, we cut our grab holes in the side plates. And thanks to the guys at Custom MX, we went ahead and graphics our entire bike. The stock YZ450 looks awesome, but when we add the Custom MX graphics, it just takes it to a whole nother level. seat off, we shave the seat foam down to create a better grab hold and then we recover the seats with a custom seat cover from Moto Seat. Now that the majority of the bike's put together, we change our stock handle bars over to the ProTaper Pastrana FMX Bend bars. They're a higher bar and allow us to manoeuvre around the bike better. We also change from the stock grip over to the ProTaper Clamp On Half Waffle Grip. Our flip levers and foot hook allow us to leave it back onto the bike and keep us attached to the bike during certain flip variations. So the Airtime boys actually run their throttle cables underneath the handlebar instead of on top. This helps when they're doing certain tricks. And they also run their electric start button and kill switch mounted to the radiator hoses uh, to avoid hitting them midair as well. And that's it, our Airtime 2023 Yamaha YZ450 bike build, all set up, ready to ride for FMX. All right, we're out here at the 5060 compound, the bikes are built, it's time to throw these things upside down and get a little bit wild. Wow.